so this this is your first exhibition in the UK and yes. it's come out of the residency mm. um, at the University of Sheffield. Can you talk a little bit about the residency, why you came, what you've done, what you've gained from that experience? Uh, the idea of Sheffield for me was first when you contacted me was uh, Warp Record City. And for me it's like the capital of USA it should be Detroit, you know. So um, it's, I mean, in my way. So I was trying to try to come in this area because I know a bit history of uh, the area around and I was interested um, generally in this kind of uh, cities uh, which have a very uh, strong mark of the 20th century. Uh, this could be like in Germany, Berlin or the Hochgebiet on uh, cities like Wuppertales and Borum Dortmund. And for me, the area of uh, Sheffield, I mean, if you take Liverpool, Sheffield, Manchester, Leeds, etc., etc., and Doncaster, almost, also. also. Um, it seems to me like bit the Ruhrgebiet of uh, England. So, of course, this um, area is very uh, interesting for my uh, work process. Because uh, when you, you stay in this kind of place, you have this confrontation between, uh, um, how can I say, entropy, um, regeneration, and I mean, trying plants uh, to regenerate places, and, um, and also a social uh, history which is important. And uh, sometimes uh, cities like uh, much more important city or more, more rich place are culturally more uh, conservative finally because uh, everything is alright and uh, that's not very moral what I will to say but I think the best art is coming from the shit <laughs> and from the derelict um, atmosphere I mean that's my own um, way to think and when I arrived in Sheffield I was um, First time I came one year before, just before uh, this year. Uh, it was um, very interesting and for me the flash was to see Park Hill Flats. Um, and I, I, I thought this time it was uh, a very interesting place uh, to stay uh, in relationship to uh, architecture which, which is uh, a sign of the past. and. Uh, and it could be a sign of future. So. Are there other parts of Sheffield or the region that you've been attracted to or interested in, apart from Park Hill? Yeah, um, I mean, uh, Park Hill is yeah, especially something which is interesting me for in an architectural uh, way. I mean, but the area of, uh, I mean, Yorkshire, let's say Yorkshire, uh, that I know a bit, not, not very well because four months are a uh, very um, uh, small time, finally. Um, yeah, the landscape uh, attract me, but uh, also, as I said before, um, this place which are between countryside and cities and derelict places. So I found some many crazy places. And uh, you took me to uh, Kilnsea, for example, uh, where you have all these bunkers. And uh, so I discovered this um, station, power station, the Torfmarsh Marsh power station which is my, became my <coughs> country house. <laughs> but uh, all this place uh, interests me a lot. Also because it's not only for the romanticism of the relic place, even if I'm uh, quite romantic sometimes, but almost because um, this kind of architecture, like bunkers or uh, fact some kind of factories, or also partly why not in another way, uh, were um, conceived for um, um, uh, a certain um, way to be used and when they became derelict it became concrete abstract totally abstract architecture and that's this idea interests me a lot this this uh, form without function <laughs> anymore <laughs> built in a period where form was function <laughs> So do you think your practice has developed while you've been here in Sheffield? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Your ideas and your practice? <coughs> yeah, yeah, because it's always developed and also because we had this um, discussion together and tried to think about what, what uh, is a city now, I mean, what it was, uh, what is it, and what it will be, maybe, in relationship in all these places. And 
uh, all these buildings which are uh, derelict or new and the, um, we, we developed a quite interesting concept about what could be um, ecology in the future and conservative ecology or revolutionary ecology so I think for example in this um, in this point uh, that's very interesting for me because it's make my concept going uh, fast uh, like, um, far and far. Uh, so. Could you talk a bit about the works you've made in Sheffield? Uh, I made a work that I make quite everywhere. In fact, just practice the places. Just because I think when you want to speak about something, you have to know it. If not, you you don't speak correctly about it. You stay in a super superficial uh, vision of things. And um, this idea to practice a place to come here and stay there and just have uh, finally uh, start to build a kind of everyday life there in relationship to the the, the things around people but uh, places um, because it's another rhythm it's another city uh, it's an, another time rhythm and um, was quite interesting for me uh, that's a real uh, that's a trip and um, yeah, that's very strong experience, uh, most because um, in in this uh, relationship to maybe people that I met. So, uh, because of course here, uh, when you speak about architecture, I think in relationship to the Sheffield history, uh, there is a lot of passion about it. And I like also this idea about um, uh, what York, Yorkshire was in the 80s, like a really uh, resistant place. And um, for me, um, it was very important. I, I met, um, I think, to keep this in the area that I like a lot the Socialist Republic of <laughs> South Yorkshire. <laughs> and the pieces in the exhibition, there's a mixture of <coughs> sculptural work, photographic work, a video. Can yeah. you talk about the pieces you're showing and the ways in which they work together, the appearance yeah. of the exhibition? Uh, for me, uh, this exhibition was uh, decided in a uh, like quick, quick way, so I wanted to be quite synthetic. At the same time, uh, I, I wanted to not to speak about what um, I made in, in Sheffield because I didn't want it to be literal or um, didactic or anything else because that's not my job. Because I, uh, my artist uh, place is to have this point of view which is quite uh, deviant <laughs> of parallel, you know. Um, so I prefer like, the really uh, social uh, subjects or uh, things like this and, and to some people who have uh, much more uh, knowledge about it because I, I'm, I don't know Sheffield for the four months, not enough to go deeply in the social reality and things like this. But I wanted to, to give my point of view and, um, and of course to make this point of view meeting my general point of view. I mean, and um, so I, I didn't want to make a, a sh typically Sheffield regional, regional work. That's not interesting for me. I just wanted to, to um, explain or or show that uh, my my um, general logic uh, feel and uh, found a place here to uh, develop and process my work and so I decided to um, to think just about uh, that we um, uh, fought together and when we discussed uh, this idea of um, which is quite thinly as quite typical in England that the brutalism in architecture and what is brutalism? I mean behind just the raw concrete what what where it is a headache of brutalism? What is social history of this brutalism? Why this brutalism uh, happened in the sixties in the certain kind of uh, heavy industry and work society and why now it's uh, I mean it's carry some trauma also and uh, what is the idea of nice and ugly? What is how everything is semantic and cultural. Um, so I, I, I wanted to, to more and more develop this because this is my uh, general interest anyway, uh, even in Berlin or uh, anywhere else. So here it was a certain way to think about it in relationship to what's happened there. I mean, you can some examples, uh, many examples here. Uh, one more time Park Hill, but anything else. And. So I uh, wanted to um, 
finally to work in a certain kind of logics why uh, I decided to to show um, three works one works uh, I made it already uh, this video which name is Nartach um, but for me it was I thought about this video when I was there many times because of the ambience uh, general in the city so I this for me it seems me logic to uh, bring something from uh, anywhere else here also and build new uh, to new works and I say build because uh, I build this work um, of course with my passion but not only because um, I think I'm quite romantic and um, to make the romanticism interesting it have to be, be a synthetic <laughs> so that's quite paradox because we are not anymore in the 19th century <laughs> we are not naive anymore so if you are a romantic you have to to assume it in a non-romantic way <laughs> so I decided to um, to think about uh, things how to uh, have a brutalist finally relationship to um, to art uh, without play the brutalist in a kitsch way or in a typical um, a stereotypical way to make some raw concrete or um, so in this way you have to uh, know the concept of what is the concept of brutalism and, uh, and at the same time uh, try to escape about something dilastic and this idea to try to um, connect this idea on my general work was uh, one of the central points uh, of this exhibition so it's why for example with this uh, neon installation when you make some neon today in relationship uh, with art history and many things uh, like this a uh, relationship of course of the period of brutalism and because it was also the period of minimalism but uh, life has romantism you can't be a minimalist anymore as in the 60s because the world changed so like Anyway, in the 60s, when people were minimalist, they were also connected to constructivism. But they weren't any more constructivist because we were in the 60s. So today we are um, the 10th. <laughs> and um, if you, we continue to think about this, because also constructivist for me is totally connected to my uh, way to think. You have to build things which have a relationship to today. Today is not uh, this snobism of contemporary or be contemporary, which is for me a... Finally, just a postmodern concept is uh, to uh, think about what is time generally, what is past, what is present, and what is future. It's um, it's mean. I think we change period now, and the name contemporary was postmodern name. Now it's just question of time, and the time for me is um, to try to to speak about the present in a large way, which includes past and idea of future, because. For me, everything is connected. There is not present, past, future. There is not anymore this hierarchy. <coughs> so I wanted to, for example, to um, build this uh, neon installation in very raw way, uh, just neons and just cables, but not in a design way. I didn't want to make something like a, a precious object. I wanted just to make an electric machine, uh, which is quite just tubes, thinly. Uh, that's quite simple and uh, but I use these geometric forms which are very connected to uh, constructivist uh, research about um, uh, geometry and why not this kind of cross finally uh, like in Malevich stuff or but it could be also like a concept of element of uh, modernist architecture and repetition and uh, the point of my idea of today that's um, this uh, et this I decide to let the cables not um, in, I mean, a magnificence of technology, but just like an acceptation of a certain kind of disorder. And um, just not to show, not for show things, but just decide to not hide it. Um, for the picture, the same logic, Finley. Uh, do you want to show one more picture of Park Hill, for example? Because, of course, I made a lot and I show a lot during the workshops, and but the idea is okay, uh, many people made a picture of Park Hill and I think now in the, um, in the present of um, the social situation and uh, what Park Hill will become or not, uh, maybe it's much more interesting to have some archive picture, finally. Uh, so I could work also with archives, um, but I decided to, to just build a landscape, and uh, which is not... Um, 
illustrative or what is really in Sheffield, but just to uh, describe a certain feeling of uh, what could be um, a meeting with a wild and brutal landscape. Uh, also, not only in a documentation way, but also in um, an in psychic way, because uh, my art is uh, also something like psychic. Um, so I made these uh, pictures, which are uh, something like mutation between, that's not fair in Union art history anyway, but uh, pasting, cut pasting, uh, like many way in constructivist, they start to make it in 20th and never stop. Nobody stopped since this period, and I wanted just to let the the sky white in relationship to the space. I mean, so it's at this point in in situ, but just because I, I didn't want to speak about anything, so I didn't want to show especially a sky because the sky is the sky. I just wanted to to so to to show some uh, architecture element who have this um, this point which is interested me a lot. Uh, around this meeting about uh, form and without function anymore. So, a meeting between architecture and uh, sculpture, finally, because uh, this uh, form without function bec is half sculpture. It's what, what interested me a lot in parking when it was empty, because it was just a kind of monument. <laughs>